The Porcelain Horse. It's your first feature film. It's my first fiction, yes. Yeah, and uh, it's a story about addiction, about pointless of, of, of life, no perspectives, right. no future. What pushed you to write that to, story? To write it? Um, I wanted to do something about my hometown. My hometown is called Porto Viejo in the coast of Ecuador. And uh, when I was growing up, there was a lot of... There was a, it, we, we had a very sort of privileged life and it was a very sort of uh, closed life, you know, almost like a gated community type of thing, you know, like a suburb. But at the same time, there were a lot of sort of drugs going around and, I, and, I, and there was a crime that happened maybe two or three blocks from where I live when I was maybe I was 15 or 16 years old. And that was like really the first time we had any notion of violence, of like a consequence to things. And me and my friends were very reckless, very, very reckless. We did, you know, a lot of crazy stuff when we were kids. So it's a little bit based on your um, life? A little bit, a little bit. But then when this, when this action, when this act of violence happened, which was the murder, it was the murder of, a, of brothers in a family, in a house next to where I live, mm -hmm. that really sort of changed things for me. So years later, when I was in film school and I was trying to figure out what to write, I figured I'll take that, you know, that the, the fact that this, this violence erupted in a place mm -hmm. that where there was no violence before and try and see if I could, you know, say something about Ecuador mm -hmm. using that as story, the as yeah. a story. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the movie is basically in a way uh, it's it's almost like the settling of accounts. It's like, you know, mm -hmm. it's like it's basically, it's like settling an old account I have with my country, you know? Mm -hmm. So the movie says a lot of things that, it's about a lot of things that I don't like about my country and a, and a lot of things that I love about my country mm -hmm. and that have shaped who I am. So it's kind of turning those memories into a, a story, a dramatic story in the form of a film. Are you happy with the result? You know what, honestly, very much so. <laughs> I don't know if that's like, the right thing to say or yeah, the polite yeah. thing to say the most important thing is the reaction of the audience but, but to me I like it I like the filmmaking behind it I'm a big film geek and, and to me I see the movie and I see and I, and I think I can take a step back and say that's really it's kind of well done it's a story told in a very interesting way it's um, it mostly is told in sequence shots in long takes so the average shot in the film lasts about 90 seconds or, or you know maybe two minutes three minutes there's like four minute shots and it's very organic in the design in the, 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 ca the camera really only moves when the characters move and it's all told through sort of mise en scène you know to how how people move in the space we are telling the story with the camera and I think that's fairly sophisticated and interesting and we my DP and, and I we, we work very very hard at, 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 uh, at that and I think we were very successful so yeah you started well, so that's, that's the most important uh, you started started talking about making a film, a process of it, uh, and I heard that it took eight years to make this film done. Yes, yes. Well, it took it took a lot of time because I was in New York, and at some point we and I sold the script. So at some point we we're going to do it in the U.S. But then we figured the the real movie had written had been written for record to be done in Spanish. So we said maybe this is the way to do it. But uh, but that in that process took about took about six years, you know. And we had some problems with the funding, you know, finding the money. Yes, it was very very hard support. to find the money. And then what the big break was? There were two breaks. We had an, an investor from the U.S. who who gave us a good chunk of money in exchange for the territory of the U.S. And also in Ecuador, the new government happened and they created something called the National Council of Cinema and they did a grant system and uh, and the movie won a lot of those grants so between that what we had there we took a little loan and, and suddenly it became possible and uh, it was shot in 33 days in two cities and, um, and it was really we we really did do what we wanted in a way we never really sacrificed any quality you know uh, for time's sake you know we never were we never really we were never running, you so know what I mean? That's the advantage of And that was the feet. advantage of shooting something there, exactly. So it took a long time, but I always say it took a long time, and, but it was made when it was ready to be made. Like I feel myself as a director because in all that time I did other work. I did some music videos, I did documentaries, I worked with actors. So it was like I was prepping myself. So the person who ended up doing the film six years later than when we initially were going to do it, 
was a much better director <laughs> than the younger one. <laughs> so it was a good thing.